Very quick lock. Hit this lock right there. Okay. What's the difference? Oh God. <laughs> do show, please do show. I've got that hit. I come back and I just dropped my right elbow. This dials it right away. Yeah. Trust me, he's not faking this. This is seriously painful. Yes. So again, one, two. This is a nice lock because it, it reminds me of a dear friend of mine named Joe Hines who, who helped me to invent this lock about 15, 20 years ago. Joe made this really funny mistake. We were going to do this technique. And he grabbed my hand in a really funky way, where he held it like this, and it just felt weird to me. And I went home and I explored, experimented with it, and I realized that I could do this. <laughs> with who? Who'd you experiment with? Oh, oh, no, just my students. Oh, okay. They're always my. my uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you feel how, how terrible this technique is. Yeah, it's going to well, explode it's like, your wrist. Okay, so. It's going to go that way. I'm rolling it out and I'm just capturing it. Like this. Just unbelievably. Yeah, no, destruction. That's... Yeah. This is not a submission hold, but can I. At least it never shocked me was So here. You can feel how yeah. awful, okay? Oh, yeah. Now, notice it's much different. Very long arms, medium leg arms, it doesn't matter. Okay? You can adjust for any person, okay? So the trick here is that I'm doing extension and external rotation. Combine those two motions. So extension, external rotation. It's just so horrible. Key ingredient, do not let your elbow go over. No lock. Elbow on the outside, big lock, oh. okay? Elbow has to be on the outside. So for people who understand trapping, you can come from here, you can also come right there. Pretty much nothing you can, you can feel. It's just a terrible, terrible lock. Okay? So let's try it. Go to it. 